Quick, graph y equals e to the 2x power by hand two different ways. It is highly recommended that you watch the video how to graph y equals f of the quantity k times x before watching this video. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during the video. The first way is with the e to the x dance. And the first point of the dance is at 0, 1, which is not affected by the coefficient of x2, because when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So that's right 0, up 1. Also recall that the coefficient k equals 2 is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor, represented by 1 over whatever k is. That is, multiply each x value by the reciprocal of k, which in this case is 1 half. Now normally, e to the x dance would be right 1 up e, which is 2.7 approximately. For our graph, it's going to be right 1 half up e, about 2.7, because a half times 1 is a half. Notice we, we, we furnish these values that students should know. So right a half up e, which is 2.7. Normally we go right 2 up e squared, but in this case it's going to be right 1 up e squared, because a half times 2 is 1. So right 1 up 7.4. Normally we go left 1 up e to the negative 1, which is 0 .1, 0 0.4. So go ahead and finish the next two. Press pause and resume when you're ready. So for ours, it's going to be left a half up e to the negative 1. So uh, left a half up 0 0.4. And then left 2 up e to the negative 2. Ours is going to be left 1 up 0 0.14. Draw the asymptote, which is the x-axis connect the points, and comparing that to the parent function, you can see that from blue to green, it's a horizontal shrink. Second way is using a table. So this is our traditional values for y equals e to the x that we should know. Since k equals 2 inside the exponent there, the horizontal dilation factor is its reciprocal, which is a half. Recall that we keep the y-coordinates the same, but we multiply each x-coordinate by 1 half in this case, 1 over k. So it's 2 times a half is 1, so we'll plot 1 comma 7.4. A half times 1 is what half, so a half comma 2.7. And go ahead and finish the table and plot the points. Press pause and then resume when you're ready. Zero times a half is zero, zero, one. Negative one times a half, negative a half, up zero point four. And negative two times a half is negative one, comma, zero point one four. Draw the asymptote, which is the x-axis, or the line y equals zero, and connect the points. Compare that to the parent function, and from blue to green, it's a horizontal shrink. Now you try one. Graph y equals e to the 3x power. Use either method or both, just for the practice. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here is the answer. y equals e to the 3 times x power is a horizontal shrink compared to the blue parent function.